Hello everyone. So welcome to my YouTube channel. And today our topic is DR BDR election. But before going to discuss about the DR BDR election, we must know what is the reason behind the election of DR and BDR. Basically, the reason behind the DR BDR election is the LSA flooding in OSPF. Well, if I talk about the LSA flooding, so this is caused because of any change in the network. If there will be any change in the network, like uh, we are adding new link or removing any link or by mistake, there is any change in the matrices of the link. So what will happen in that case, the OSPF will initiate the link state advertisement and that will be flooded throughout the OSPF on all the interfaces. So it will be automatically generated and will forward it to throughout the network and it will cause the flooding of LSA. So by this example, we must understand that how, why does the LSA flooding is done. Okay, let us assume that this link is down and still there is no DR or BDR in the network. So what will happen? that these routers will generate LSA. What? LSA will be generated and that will be continuously forwarded throughout the network because there is a switch that has a property to broadcast the LSA. The broadcast that will be received to this, to this switch will be forwarded to everywhere. So that is why the LSA flooding will be done in between these four routers and it will be a disturbance for this network because of multiple LSAs will be continuously forwarded in between them. Now, what is the solution of this problem? The solution of this problem is that the election of DR designated router will be responsible for forwarding the LSA packet throughout the network. Here, the DR will only router that will be allowed to forward the LSA to other routers. Okay. And there is a complete processor in behind the selection of DR and BDR that will be automatically selected by what? The routers will be automatically select the DR or BDR in OSPF. Okay. So here some rules and regulation are allotted for the election process of DR and BDR. Well, there is, there is some priority router priority in OSPF. And the value of priority is in between 0 to 255. And the router that is having the highest priority on any segment will be elected as the DR. But by default, the priority number of OSPF is 1. And if the priority number of any router will be 0, it will not take place in the, it will not participate in the DR or BDR election. Secondary, if by default all the router has priority 1, it will be a tie. In that case, the router which is having the highest router ID will become the DR. And second highest router ID will become the backup designated router that is BDR. So this is an example of selection of DR. BDR and DR other. Well, if I talk about all the routers, this router R1 is having a router ID 192.168.10.4, router ID 192.168.10.3, 192.168.10.2 and 10.1. We have four routers. If I talk about the priority number, by default, all the router has a priority number one. So this is a tie. In this case, the router which is having highest priority in between them will become the designated router. Well, you can clearly see that the router ID with 192.168.10.4 is the highest router ID and it will be automatically become the designated router. 
well we can also have some procedure to change the router id uh, the router id as well as the priority number by changing the priority number we can also change the change the designated router well if you want to check what is the neighbor status for dr and bdr there is a command show ip ospf neighbor it will show you the complete information about the neighbor and how we can change the priority number by this command enable configuring terminal select the interface that is connected to the switch and then put the command ip ospf priority and any random priority number greater than one so it will be automatically become the dr so this is what we have done we have changed the priority number to three from what from 192 from 1 to 3 we have changed the priority number to 3 from 1 here it will automatically become the dr in this network this will automatically become the dr and there will be a bdr election in between the remaining routers so it may be possible that this router will become bdr well we will pr practically observe all this okay so let me first of all create a network as similar that we have just seen in the slide okay so there is a network let me connect them with a switch and a cable so switch is connected and the cables will be connected like this one two three and four okay so this is my network in which we have four routers First of all, we will provide the IP address to all of them. So let us assume the IP address is 192.168.10.4, 192.168.10.3, 192.168.10.2, and 192.168.10.1. Okay. First of all, we are going to provide the IP address. Then we will do the configuration of OSPF and then we will change the priority number and we'll observe that which one will become the DR. Enable configuring terminal interface G0 slash 0 slash 0. No shutdown. Okay. IP address is 192.168.10.4 and 255.255.255.0. .255 .255 so we are just providing the IP address. Let's provide the IP address to this router also. Enable configuring terminal interface of 0 slash uh, G 0 slash 0 slash 0. No shutdown IP address is 192.168.10.3 and 255.255.255.0. Let's provide IP address to this router. Okay. Go to global configuration mode. Enable configuring terminal. Select the interface G0 slash 0 slash 0. No shutdown. IP address is 192.168.10.2 and 255.255.255.0. Let's do the same on last router. Go to CLI. No. Enable configuring terminal interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 no shutdown okay ip address is 192.168.10.1 and 255.255.255.0 so we have just provided the ip address to all of these routers okay let's do the configuration of ospf so let's start with router number zero router ospf one network 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.255 area zero. So we are going to advertise this network on all of these routers. Let's do the same here. Router OSPF1 network 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.255 area zero. Okay. Let's do the configuration on this one also. Router OSPF1 network 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.255 area 0. 
okay let's do the configuration on this router also router ospf1 network 192.168.10.0.0.0.0.255 area 0 so we have just configured the ospf on all of these routers now by putting the command what show ip ospf neighbor show ip ospf neighbor we can check that which one is the designated router so as i told you that the router with highest router id will become what designated router here you can see that 192.168.10.4 is the designated router and secondary 192.168.10.3 will become the backup designated router that is means if dr will be shut down bdr will automatically become the designated router and other will become dr other okay now i'm going to change the priority number for the same currently the priority for all of these routers are priority priority for all of these are one because by default the priority is one so all of the router is having priority one okay after election this will become dr this will become the bdr this will become the dr other and this will also become the dr other okay whenever i will change the priority number from one to three so it will become the dr from dr other to dr so how we can change the priority number go to global configuration mode select the interface g0 slash 0 slash 0 and ip ospf priority and three by this the priority number will be changed but to apply this process we have to clear the ospf process by putting command clear ip ospf process so it will reset the ospf process put yes here and it will automatically change all the scenario okay so now i will go to this router and put a command show ip ospf neighbor so here you can see that 192.168.10.1 will become dr so this will be automatically become dr and it will remain bdr because bdr will be changed once it once it will be turned off so this is how the dr bdr election will be done and we can also do manipulation in the dr bdr election processor now this will become dr and this will become bdr that can that will be exchanged because of what there is a change in the priority number so they they will become dr and dr other the bdr will remain same okay so dear all this is all about the lsa flooding and election of dr bdr and dr other if you have any confusion you can ask me in the comment i will upload the recording for the same have a nice day please subscribe the channel and share to your friends also